so I decided to start recording this. This is the trail to Roadblock Canyon, and um, well, it's just turning into a way cooler drive than I expected. So I'm just going to record from here, and um, yeah, I don't even know how far it is, but we're going to go, and uh, somewhere most people can't get to. Because right now, the gates, it's just a big party, bunches of people. So I'm taking this old trail, which is labeled on maps as the Old Groom Road. Um, it is definitely not maintained or driven on very often. But I do see tire tracks. Who knows how old they are, though? Sometimes tire tracks can be years old and you can still see them pretty clearly. But I'm pretty sure at least the Area 51 rider has been out here this year. I don't know if any of these tracks are his. I don't know if he made it up to Roadblock Canyon. But uh, yeah, that should get us into a cool little area that most people won't go to. Um, Roadblock Canyon leads up to Freedom Ridge, which Glen Campbell found back in the mid-90s, um, which was a really, really good viewpoint of Area 51. Um, so good that in, I believe, 94 or 95, the U.S. government did a land grab and annexed Freedom Ridge so that you can no longer get up there to watch the base. And uh, in, I think it was 95 was when they annexed, but in 94, Roadblock Canyon got its name because the camo dudes went and pushed a bunch of boulders across the uh, the road so that Glen Campbell and company couldn't gain access. Uh, and there was a big to-do about it and Glen Campbell and his friends or co cohorts or whatever went and um cleared the roadblock so that they could access the canyon again and then of course later on it was just annexed and you legally can't go there now but we're going to go up it as far as we can I believe this hill we're looking at off to the left was termed sniper hill by somebody um, there's no sniper out there obviously there is a nice cave up in there, uh, but that's a steep ass hike. I don't think I'm gonna hike up there. All right, so we're almost to the roadblock itself. see people have turned around here we'll turn around spot well you can't but I can see the tire tracks from people turning around but oh boy oh that's easy Four low, and here we go. So this is what's left of the roadblock. And up, see daisy. Easy as that.
probably didn't even need four low, to be honest with you. But I didn't even need lockers, so. And we just passed the roadblock. And we're going to sneak up here to the border crossing. I think I see the posts. Yep. Some big orange posts up ahead. And that'll be as far as we can go. I don't know if we'd even be able to see the trail up on Freedom Ridge from here. But I'm going to stay firmly on this side of these posts. I just need to find a spot where I can get turned around. actually can see the trail all right here's the border crossing so these orange poles That's the border to Area 51. So you can see them right there. Bigger one up there. And this trail that's looping around up there. That leads to Freedom Ridge. And uh, yeah, Freedom Ridge looks right down on the border. Um, so technically it would be closer than the main gate would be. And there's not a single person around here. And I got camo dudes watching me. So the border comes down this hill, goes right across, and up to that hill. And then we're going to back up this trail and head out that way. I don't think the camel boys are expecting anyone to show up here. And they're probably wondering just how in the heck I'm going to get out of here. Trust me guys, I can turn an F-350 around on a drill pad with the drill on it.
this be small potatoes. Oops, I smashed a plant. Oh, and smash some of my plastic. There we go. And away we go. Well, that was Roadblock Canyon. And a visit from your friendly neighborhood camo dudes. freaking impressive to be honest. Their radios gave them away though. It seemed like they were trying to not be seen just barely looking over the ridge. down the roadblock. Oh. Going down's a lot rougher than going up it. Jeez. There we go.